Hello, welcome back to India at 100 Grown Responsibly and Safely Season 2. I'm your host Amarjit Kaur, Head Corporate Communications and Brand of Tata Projects. Today we are going to focus on the excavation and equipment safety at Noida International Airport, which is situated in Uttar Pradesh and is going to be the Asia's largest airport. This project is to build one runway airport by 2024 and initially it is going to handle a crore plus of passengers annually. This project is not just building the airport, it is shaping the future of transportation of India. Today I'm pleased to have with us Mr. Dinesh Jamwal, who is the Head Project Delivery in Aura International Airport and Mr. P.K. Shrikumar who is the Chief Project Director Tata Projects. These are the driving forces behind the safety initiatives at Noida International Airport. Welcome gentlemen for this episode. Thank, Thank you, you so for joining much. us. Thank you so much. Thank you. We Dinesh. appreciate your effort. Dinesh, we all are very curious to know about you know, the safety related to excavation, especially for this massive project. Could you just throw light on that? Thank you so much, first of all. Uh, for getting this opportunity to speak to you. Excavation is always a key element which we start with the project and it involves uh, too much of planning and obviously the teamwork. This project we have, uh, we have uh, like we have many buildings and the terminal and the air side. So widths and the depths are varying in terms of excavation. And this is also clubbed with the water table. We have a high water table. Okay. So it becomes very challenging. When we talk about excavation, so it's not only just uh, we are going for the excavation, it's all the permit systems and how we are going to uh, manage uh, the stability and efficiency of the entire, uh, entire framework. Okay. So that is our uh, key uh, which we take forward. And we have uh, done due diligence on that. And finally, we came up. Uh, with a very good plan and we were able to do the excavation in a very prescribed way. However, uh, excavation is one of our key, uh, uh, key in the life-saving uh, governance okay. which we have defined in our project. And uh, it becomes very important for us to go into the deep analysis of it and also uh, finding the root cause, how we have to proceed uh, with the excavation so we take all necessary precautions while we are doing it mm -hmm. and at the same time we educate the entire crews which are coming for excavation and it's carried out in the safe safe way and that is one of the reason why we are here today with 15 million safe man hours rightly said excavation projects come with their set of challenges and congratulations on the 15 million safe man hours really commendable so Shri Kumarji I would like to ask you then like, how did you manage to face these challenges at this massive project? Yeah, safety is our prime responsibility and values. We recognize our people, our workforce, to work in a safe environment of this project. Uh, what is you ask that question, excavation. Excavation need a lot of precision and planning. And uh, precision means for the risk analysis, for the excavation, what do you first do it and how to mitigate the risk for this project. And we value our workforce and when we are doing that engineering for the safety, first we are making the drawing and the drawing also include what type of uh, excavation we are going to do. Here nearly about 22 uh, million uh, cubic meter of excavation okay. we are engaging over here from 2 meter to 9 meter to 10 meter. It depends on the area, uh, Nile Airport, the area is fully water table, is around 0.5 meter uh, water table area is there. So when we start excavation, the co soil is going to collapse. Mm. So the collapse, how we are mitigate that collapse, we are doing the most modern technology, well point system we are utilized with the bigger pumps and utilizing the bigger pumps and uh, set it dry, uh, we can say the optimum moisture for the soil. So the soil will stabilize and our slope is, most of the areas we are, I mean, uh, getting the slope one in two slopes and wherever it is not possible, we are utilizing the soil stabilization and some area we are short creating the areas, I mean, where the soil is not I mean, collapse to our the workforce. And we 
did lot of areas access control. No one go there, that area. We barricade the whole areas with, say, I mean, hard barricades. And uh, wherever the excavation is there, two gates are there. People have to go there and uh, go up. That's only to access. Okay. So people will be safe over there. Great. So when it comes to Tata projects, you know, yeah. definitely the safety matters a lot and we want all the, you know, workforce to reach their families back home yeah. to them. S especially during the challenging environments like here in Nile, how do, can you elaborate the stuff? How do I ensure the safety of the workers over here? We are blending with the most modern technologies and safety expertise okay. to maintain the safety at the excavation area. And we are giving a lot of training and safety expertise to look after our well, I mean, uh, workforce for their well-being. I just want to add uh, uh, on this. I yeah. mean, first of all, uh, uh, there is a commitment at the leadership level, mm -hmm. uh, which starts from there, and it flows down to the to the workers we are having at site. We have a huge labor camp and the safety and security and the cleanliness is all well taken care so the safety yeah. starts from there so and the training what we are imparting to the people it's not only the labor we are giving the training even the even the engineers even the supervisors all who are here they are inducted and then they are sent to the site so that awareness and then continuous monitoring is happening at site so we make sure that we at the same time, we are uh, going for the progress, but at the parallelly, we are taking care of the safety of the project. Projects. So that is the key thing, which uh, as a project is moving on, as we are driving this to the completions. So that's really interesting. So Dinesh, I would like to ask you: Is there some incident which has just remained with you on the safety part, which you can tell our audience? So to answer your question uh, uh, briefly and to end it up, uh, I think there is no such incidents which has happened. Uh, on site today yeah. where we have uh, failed in terms of safety so the every precautions and everything proactiveness is taken on at the first step only so uh, we would like to continue with this but I don't want to del deliberate more on this but we are where we are we are proud to be where we are and we we intend to move like this till the end of this project great congratulations to you sir thank you and mr. Shri Kumar to you I would like to ask the last question for this episode how do you maintain this consistency of putting your safety measures in place and reaching those benchmarks? Yeah, even Dinesh said that one, there is no incident. That is one of my benchmark now. We have to say that one. And one more thing I have to add it. Nearly 7,500 to 800, 8,000 people are working about this project. Uh -huh. And uh, 1,500 engineers total with the client and our and subcontract 1,500 engineers. Nearly we can say nearly 10,000 people are working over here. If you go and see the site, all the people are wearing PPEs, okay. personal protective equipments. That is, we are very strict on that one. And another one more thing I have to emphasize, 800 to 900 vehicles are, I mean, flying over the roads. Our uh, speed of the vehicles, we are restricted to 30 kilometers. Okay. You can see so many speed humps and uh, speed measuring equipments are there. We are putting uh, two, three areas and we are, uh, if it is going more than 30 kilometers, we are uh, uh, penalizing with uh, some sort of, uh, I mean, fines to them. And most of the, I mean, construction equipment, we, uh, I mean, we are uh, doing with a great effort that one. All reverse cameras, reverse horns, and uh, if mm. somebody crossing the roller, within two meter away, it's going to shut down. The roller is going to shut down. And all other equipments, there is, uh, I mean, delay start mechanism, we utilize that one. That's a benchmark for our project. In this entire uh, network, what we have, we have defined pedestrian pathways. Yeah. Huh. So that uh, so the, your vehicle movement and the pathways are separate. Then there are defined corridors when the buses flow in and the people come in and out. So the entire thing, and the, then we have the welfare arrangements. So every every 
facility, be it a terminal building, be it uh, some utility building, anywhere, any building, it will have a welfare facility there, wherein the manpower can rest, they can eat, they can take what what whatever uh, rest they want to have in case it is required. So that is also well taken care of. So in in short, I mean, the first if the first step is right, so we will always win. Safety is not a choice; it's a responsibility for all our well-being and our forces. And recently, we received from two international ISO 14001 and 45000 for this project. Okay. This is the first time in Tata in a site-oriented ISO certification we received from two international. Great. Thanks, Mr. Dinesh and Shri Kumar for your valuable insights. Thank you very much. And to my viewers, thank you very much for joining us. Remember, progress is meaningful only when it is built on a foundation of safety. Stay safe, stay tuned and see you again. Thank you. Okay, thank you.